Okay, let me start out by saying that the point of this video is not to debate which, if any of these motors actually work. This list is simply covering which magnetic motors are the most famous among alternative energy fans and segments of the general public. There are three motors that didn't make the list which deserve honorable mention. The Lutec 1000 hit the airways a few years back with the promise of a self-running motor that would soon be brought to market. One of the inventors has passed away and the other has seemingly passed into obscurity. There were rumors that the device didn't quite measure up to the claims when tested. That could be the case, or perhaps it was a good way to help the story fade away. Regardless, the device never made it to market. Then there's the Hamill Generator, invented by David Hamill, perhaps considered a bit more exotic due to the inventor's fascination with UFOs. George Green and John Bedini both presented dialed-down versions of the device. Neither really applied the actual principles of the design in a way that properly tested it, though. So as of yet, there are no working versions that have been presented to the public. Invented and designed by Sonny Miller, this motor is heralded as the world's first practical magnetic engine. The team that worked on it demonstrated as self-starting by releasing the wheel as the camera records it quickly accelerating. This device received a patent in 2013 and was most recently listed as in development. I'll be sharing links to the patents of most of these motors in the video's description below, should you wish to learn more about how they work, or are supposed to work. And now, with no further ado, here are the 10 most famous magnetic motors. Number 10, James Roney Stators. James Roney has designed a clever shielding technique to try to bypass the cogging problem present in most magnetic motor designs. He and others replicating his work have experienced some level of success in their attempts to build a self-rotating magnetic motor. Number 9. This motor has been presented in several video demonstrations on YouTube, as well as in supposed replications. There are rumors that the inventors parted ways and the project could be in some sort of hiatus. If you look closely at the design, the angling method used for the magnets on the stator bears a passing resemblance to a technique often used by another magnetic motor patent holder, Howard Johnson. More on him later. Number 8. The Troy Reed magnetic motor was originally patented in 1990. Reed not only claimed his device could self-run and power multiple devices after being started, but could be used to keep an electric car running indefinitely without ever having to stop to recharge the batteries. After all of these years, his device is still not available for purchase. Number 7. Robert Calloway's V-Gate Magnetic Motor This is one of the most simple magnetic motor designs as well as one of the ones people have attempted to build work conversions of the most. George Sukup of Germany applied for a patent of his version of the design as well as claiming some success at building a rotary version of it. To this date though, no one has actually proven to have built a rotary version of the motor. The linear versions work quite well for demonstrating the principle behind it. Number 6. John Searle's Spintronic Generator Searle has demonstrated versions of this design for several years now and is currently seeking funding to develop and produce his generator and make it available to the public. Due to the precision necessary to assemble and construct a working version of his design, most of the attempts to replicate his generator have met with mixed results. Number 5. Humor Yelditz Magnetic Motor Yelditz has demonstrated several of his devices publicly as well as completely disassembling one after demonstrating it publicly. He's held a patent for his design since 2009. The official website for his motor had announced that the release of his motor to the public would tentatively be in 2015 and set up pre-orders. Little or no new information has been shared about his motor since that time, though there is quite a bit of speculation as to why that is. Number 4. John Bedini's Monopole Magnetic Motor This motor was busted on Mythbusters, though the hosts, Adam and Jamie, said they lacked the technical knowledge to construct a Bedini motor, so they placed the task in the hands of an MIT specialist. Ironically, the specialist either didn't understand how to correctly assemble the device or intentionally built it incorrectly. What he came up with bore little resemblance to the Bedini motor to even an untrained eye. There are multiple replications of the Bedini monopole motors featured on YouTube. So his motor doesn't share the common problem that most alternative energy devices have, which is they fail to be successfully replicated. Number 3. The Infinity Save 
The company claims to have a self-running 10 kilowatt generator that they are currently in the process of bringing to market and are working on a 20 kilowatt generator, which they say will last up to 20 years. The generator appears to employ a process that allows it to self-charge while producing more electricity than it requires to run. If that is the case, that would be the very definition of ORIUNITY. Number 2. The Perindev No other magnetic motor has undergone more replication attempts than Mike Brady's Perindev motor, and while there's quite a bit of speculation as to whether it actually worked due to the inventor being convicted and 32 counts of fraud, his motor is said to have been based on another inventor's patent. So it's difficult to say whether the original motor that his design was based on worked, or they both did, or neither. It remains a mystery which keeps people attempting to replicate his designs to this very day. While Mike Brady may have reached a level of infamy among many people in the alternative energy world, his motor design remains one of the most talked about, and the original presentation video is still one of the most watched. Whether his motor worked or not, it's not my intention to stand judgment on the man. He did his time and paid his debt to society. Number 1. Howard Johnson's Magnetic Motor Johnson is the only magnetic motor inventor to hold a patent in three different types of magnetic motive force systems. Johnson's first motor was featured in a 1980 issue of Science and Mechanics. He was known and respected all the way up to the highest office in America. Because of his highly respected position in the U.S. Navy and later the Atomic Energy Commission, when Johnson wrote then-President of the United States Jimmy Carter to address his concern over the patent office holding up one of his magnetic motor patents, President Carter contacted the patent office personally in his behalf. The patent was granted so quickly that they accidentally amended a portion of another patent at the end of his. No other magnetic motor inventor has ever commanded that kind of respect from world leaders, nor had their work published in national magazines. Howard Johnson is also the unofficial father of Spentronics. His research to this day remains some of the most advanced ever done in the area of magnetic motors. Now it's pretty common for these motors to show up in the headlines and make waves for a time and then suddenly disappear from the public eye entirely. To the naysayers, the written off as frauds. To the conspiracists, the inventors are paid off, encouraged to vanish from public eye, or perhaps sent on a permanent vacation. Whatever the case, the idea of a self-running device that can power our cars or our homes and perhaps give us a new level of freedom we've never experienced continues to inspire people to keep experimenting, to keep dreaming, and to keep moving forward. Thanks for watching, and do great things.